If you want the best performing open source large language model, well, until today, you had to pay through your nose for it. But no more. Today, we have an open source model called Mistral that offers essentially GPT-4 level performance at a fraction of the cost. Let me explain what that means. The best performing open source models previously were either free to use but not very powerful like GPT-J, or they were very powerful but not free like Llama 2. The former is great because it's free to use, but you get what you pay for. And the latter is great because you get amazing performance, but it comes at a cost. Until now. Mistral is a new open source model that was released this week. It has just been made available to the public, and it is truly amazing. What makes it amazing is its price performance ratio. Mistral offers comparable performance to GPT-4 at a fraction of the cost. In fact, according to its creators, Mistral costs around $1 per thousand prompts when run on a serverless architecture on AWS. That is absolutely insane. For context, OpenAI charges 3 per thousand prompts for GPT-3.5 Turbo and 6 per thousand prompts for GPT-4 Turbo. So we are looking at up to six times cheaper than GPT-4 while offering similar performance. That is insane. The Mistral model was trained by Stability AI in collaboration with the University of Oxford, and it is available for fine-tuning and commercial use under the Apache 2 license. Now remember that this is an open-source model, so the weights are freely available to anyone. However, this does not mean that it is free to use. You still have to pay for compute when you want to run it. But the price point here is absolutely amazing. In this video, we will look into what exactly Mistral is, how it compares against other models, and finally, how you can get access to it. So what is Mistral? Well, Mistral is a large language model that is based on the X100 architecture. If you remember, X100 is the architecture behind the FLAN 1.17b model, which was one of the best performing models last year. Mistral comes in three different sizes, Mistral 7b, Mistral 15b, and Mistral 30b. These refer to the number of parameters in each model. So we have a small, medium, and large model. Each of these models are fine-tuned on different data sets and different instruction prompts. The smaller Mistral 7b model has 7 billion parameters and is fine-tuned on the Pile 2022 dataset. The Pile is a collection of multiple data sources from different providers that is used to train many open-source models. The Mistral 15b model also uses the Pile 2022 dataset, but with additional fine-tuning on the Mistral-specific data. Finally, the large Mistral 30B model is further fine-tuned on the Mistral-specific data, as well as several books from Project Gutenberg. In addition to these three base models, there are also three additional models that are meant to be specialized in different areas. These models are Mistral 7B Instruct, Mistral 15B Code, and Mistral 15B Med. Mistral 7B Instruct is a smaller model that is further fine-tuned on instruction data. Mistral 15B Code is further fine-tuned on code data, so this is meant to be better at code-related tasks. Finally, Mistral 15B Med is further fine-tuned on medical data from various sources. It is important to note that this last model is not a medical expert and should not be used as such. It is only fine-tuned on medical data. Mistral is truly impressive. The creators ran zero-shot tests where they simply prompt the model with a task without any examples and compare it against the current state of the art models. In these zero-shot settings, Mistral outperforms all other open-source models including GPT-J, MPT, Vicuna, and Agival. This is especially true for tasks that require longer reasoning. Additionally, in some tasks, Mistral even outperforms GPT-4. In particular, Mistral 30B has shown to outperform GPT-4 by a significant margin in Big Bench Hard and Hardest. Big Bench is a collection of tasks that test a wide range of different capabilities. Big Bench Hard and Hardest are subsets of Big Bench that only include questions that were answered incorrectly by GPT 
so these are really hard tasks. On the big bench hardest subset, Mistral 30B gets 69.8% of the answers correct. That is insane. For context, GPT-4 gets 45.7% of the answers correct here. Other open source models perform much worse here. For example, AG VAL 7B gets 37.8% of the answers correct. So why is Mistral able to outperform GPT-4 in these zero-shot settings? This is likely due to the instruction fine-tuning. The Mistral models are further fine-tuned on instruction data, and this allows them to perform better when given a new task that they have not seen before. In these cases, you can see that Mistral is able to follow complex instructions and generate outputs that are factually accurate and relevant. However, it is important to keep in mind that these are zero-shot settings. In practice, you will likely see a decrease in performance when you use these models on real-world tasks. Nevertheless, the performance here is truly impressive, and it shows the potential of the Mistral models. In terms of the code generation capabilities, Mistral is also impressive. It performs better than other open-source models and even GPT-4 in some cases. It is important to keep in mind, though, that GPT-4 has recently been updated with plugins that allow it to access and utilize external tools. This includes code execution tools, so GPT-4 might be able to do better here if we did the tests again today. But regardless, this is still an impressive result. The Mistral models are also multilingual. They have been fine-tuned on data in English, German, Spanish, French, and Italian. The model is also multimodal as it takes both text and image prompts. They tested it by prompting the model with an image and a text prompt, and then asked it to generate an image based on both the prompts. The results are pretty good and show the potential of multimodality. Finally, Mistral is also customizable. In their paper, the creators talk about prompt-based customization where you can take a pre-trained model and then fine-tune it on your own data to make it better at a specific task. For example, if you have a bunch of data on a specific topic that you want the model to be better at, you can fine-tune it on that data and then get better performance on that specific topic. Now, let's talk about how you can get access to Mistral. The Mistral models are available through a serverless function on AWS. The function is called Mistral Instruct, and it is available in the EU West 1 region. You can access it through the AWS console or through the command line. You can also access it programmatically through the API. Additionally, they have also made the models available on Hugging Face so you can use them with the Hugging Face API. To use the model, you will need an AWS account and have access to the Mistral Instruct function. You can then send a request to the function with a JSON body that contains the prompt for the model. The response from the function will contain the generated text from the model. The pricing for this function is $1 per thousand prompts. This is really cheap, but it is important to keep in mind that this is still a cost. If you want to use the model for commercial purposes, you will need to pay for the usage. The Mistral models are truly impressive, and they offer a great alternative to the expensive proprietary models. The price-performance ratio is amazing, and the models are some of the best-performing open-source models out there. They are also multilingual, multimodal, and customizable, which makes them a very versatile tool. It is important to keep in mind, though, that these are still early days for Mistral. The project was just open source this week, and it is still being worked on. There might be some bugs, and the performance in real-world tasks might be lower than what was shown in the paper. Nevertheless, this is still a very exciting development, and I am looking forward to seeing how Mistral will be used in the future. I think there is a good chance that Mistral could become the go-to open source model for many people. It offers a great balance between performance and price, and it is also very easy to use. Anyways, this is it for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. This is an AI research channel. If you want to support the work that we do, you can consider becoming a patron. With that, I'll see you next time.